my name is Peter Walker Birch with yet another video podcast for you all. Now I sincerely hope that you are all still enjoying your clinical placements and that you are becoming more confident at projection radiography um, as time goes on. I mean, as you are no doubt aware, radiography is a very challenging but a very rewarding profession and uh, I hope that you are still enjoying your time as student radiographers. Now from the feedback that I have received thus far, you are all going to make um, fantastic radiographers, um, so please do keep up the excellent work. Now again, uh, apologies uh, for the delay in getting this particular podcast out to you. As I said last time, I'm currently on annual leave. That said, I have been very busy learning to use some new software called Blender, which is a 3D modeling, rendering and animation tool. And as you could see from the start of this video, I have managed to emulate a, a radiographic light box and some flashing neon lights. Wow. I've also managed to create um, the clock from Countdown, which is the theme for this week's video podcast quiz. Now, Countdown is a long running quiz show uh, that started back on the 2nd of November 1982. In fact, it was the first ever program to be broadcast on the newly created Channel 4. Now, I remember the, the first show very well indeed uh, being broadcast and was excited at the prospect of having four channels to choose from. Wow, how things have changed. Now, Countdown was originally hosted by the inimitable Richard Whiteley, a fellow Yorkshireman, I'm proud to say, who I remember fondly uh, from his days on Calendar, uh, a regional news programme for the Yorkshire region. By the way, a very happy belated Yorkshire Day for those of you who may come from this beautiful part of the world. And thank you, uh, Mark Whitterfield, for wishing me a very happy Yorkshire Day on the 1st of August. Greatly appreciated, mate. Now, I have to say, I am sorely tempted to pop in for a pint of Samuel Smith's Old Brewery Pale Ale, a great Yorkshire beer, which I used to drink with pleasure <laughs> during my time as a student um, at Hull College of Further Education, reading computer studies. Now I would um, often pop in to the Ye Old Blue Bell uh, for a bottle or two, uh, along with a copy of the Times uh, for the cryptic crossword, Halcyon Days. But I remember the barmaid at the time repeatedly, uh, repeatedly saying to me, Peter, a lonely drinker is a depressive drinker. She must have thought I was a right oddball. In fact, I remember coming out of the Eeyore Blue Bell on the 22nd of November 1990 after a particularly heavy session to the news that Margaret Thatcher had resigned as Prime Minister. A pleasant shock, uh, I'm obliged to say, but uh, will not dwell on my particular politics. Now, I've had a, a peaceful holiday thus far as the kids have been in Luxembourg uh, for a week with their two aunties, uh, one of whom lives over there with their family. As you can see, they have been tucking into the delights that uh, only Luxembourg and Germany uh, can offer. Lucky things. Uh, Alexander uh, is staying on down in Hull uh, with his grandparents for another week, giving my daughter some very welcome uh, peace and quiet too. How have your holidays been? Do let me know, won't you? Anyway, back to the quiz. Now, I don't know if you know, but the final round of Countdown was always the countdown conundrum. Basically, it was a nine letter anagram that had to be solved in 30 seconds. So, for this quiz, I thought that I would follow it in this splendid tradition and set you a number of anagrams uh, based on fractal terminology, including eponymous terms. Now, when you come to start commenting on radiographs, um, you will find that eponymous terms are no longer used, or they shouldn't be used. And for good reason, as they represent a very specific fracture pattern uh, as well as uh, mechanism of injury, and they are commonly misused. That said, you will still find that the terms being used and written um, on extra requests, so it's still very useful to be aware of them. Now, in this particular video, there are 20 anagrams uh, for you to, to solve. As usual, I will put up an answer sheet uh, for you to use on Blackboard. In addition, there are another 20 anagrams for you to solve on the answer sheet. As usual, I will release the answers next week. Talking of answers, uh, you should now have the answers for the uh, for last week's podcast, which was the deal or no deal quiz. 
Uh, so do let me know how you got on with that and whether you have found it useful. Anyway, as usual, um, you can send me an email or a tweet to let me know how you're getting on. I really do love to hear from you. Anyway, without further ado, here's Countdown. <laughs>